lot of people ask me this hey Rana you showed us how to make a WordPress website but you didn't show us how to customize it or how to design it well as you know already by the title of this video I'm gonna show you how you can customize or design your WordPress website so I'll walk you through the process that I know to design or customize a WordPress website in the end of this video you will be the judge which way is best for you to design or customize your WordPress website so don't miss any single step in this video so stick around and I'll catch you after this intro Alright guys, as you can see, I'm inside the WordPress dashboard and this is a fresh installation of WordPress and of course this is a demo website as you can see for the demonstration purposes and now I'm gonna show you how you can design your WordPress website. When it comes to the designing or customization later on, first thing you have to decide what kind of website you wanna design. Is it a blog or is it an e-commerce store? Then you have to decide which would be the best theme for your blog. Because there is a lot of uh, blog theme out there, there is a free theme available and of course there is a premium theme as well. And similarly, if you feel like you need to design an e-commerce store, then of course you need to choose your WordPress theme according to that. Our first step to design a WordPress website is theme selection so there is a couple of ways to choose a theme you can choose a theme inside the dashboard by going to appearance and then click on themes or you can go online and search for a WordPress theme and there you can download a zip file of your WordPress theme and then you can install it inside your WordPress dashboard okay now let's go to the appearance and then click on themes now you can see these three themes are pre-installed with this WordPress script. In order to install a new theme, click on add new. So in the top bar, you can see the featured, popular, latest and favorite and feature filter. You can choose popular theme or you can choose latest or you can search any kind of theme you want. Okay, let's say if we want to design a blog, then come over to the search bar and let's just type blog and press enter and now you can see the search results right below of this page or you can see 1756 themes has been found related to the blog so here you can choose the themes that you like let's say I like this theme I simply click on it and I can see the preview right side of the screen voila and you can see this is a WordPress theme looks like if we install this theme by clicking on this install button our website gonna look like this totally crap why because this is a fresh website there is a no content on this website no media on this website so our website looks like this for me this is a totally crap I usually don't like this way to install WordPress theme some people prefer this way to install a theme because they wanted to customize or design their website manually. If you install this theme by clicking on this link, you have to add every single menu, every single page that you want or every single content on your website manually. Although this is a good way to start with designing WordPress website, but I prefer different way. Let me show you what is easiest and simplest way to designing a WordPress website. Now let me close this. Let's go over and come over to the search box again and I'm gonna type Astra and I'm going to install this Astra theme. Let's click on install then click on activate. Alright now you can see we install this theme but hold on if we take a look at our website by visiting our website you can see this is a totally crap as well because there is a no content no media no pages no post there is a nothing at all so how we can add the content okay let me close this you can add content by adding a post you can click over here you can click on add new here you can give a title to your post below you can write description just 300 words and uh, here you can add category I'm gonna type WordPress click on add new category 
and this post goes under the WordPress category. And next, you can type tags WordPress tutorial, something like that. And next, you can add feature image. Go to upload files, select your file, click on set feature image, and then simply click on publish. Now you can see your post preview by going to this link. So you can see your post is right here. Let me close this. And next, now you can create a pages. Hover your mouse over the pages, click on add new, and here you can type contact us you can type a description whatever you like and simply click on publish you can create as many pages as you want moreover you can create a category go to post click on categories here you can create a categories something like this laptop click on add new category if you remember when we add a new post we created a WordPress category and you can see right here and now we created a laptop category if you have a product or post that relates to laptop, you can add your post, your product into this category. So these are the three things that you can create. And next is widgets. Go to appearance, click on widgets. Here you can add any kind of widget that comes with this theme. You just have to simply drag and drop any widget that you like in any section of your website this is a main sidebar and uh, this is a header footer sidebar if you're a bit confused from this page you can add widget by clicking this manage with live preview so you can see we recently added this calendar widget in the right side of this WordPress website let's go to main sidebar and here you can click on this plus icon add widgets and you can choose any widget any kind of widgets that you like if you like to add text you can add that as well you can add pages if you have pages you can simply click on that and your page widget comes here you can drag and drop anywhere you like so this way you can add widget once you happy with your customization then simply click on publish now let me close this so i'm back in the dashboard and next thing i'm going to show you how you can create a menus let's click on menus so here let's just simply type menu one you can name whatever you like i'm typing menu one and then click on create menu now it asking us where you want to show this menu I'm gonna select primary menu because this particular theme has only two menus primary menu and footer menus after choosing a menu then click on save menu so in this menu you can add any item that you like item like you can add pages you can add categories if you're a bit confused customizing your menu you can customize your menu with live preview by clicking this button we have this menu underscore one Go inside the menu and we want to show this menu in the primary menu let's add items to this menu click on this plus icon I would like to add home page and contact us page or here you can create another page if you like you can add WordPress and you can add categories tags format and posts into this menu once you're done simply click on publish and you can see the menu right here now I'm gonna close this now I'm back to this menu page inside the dashboard so this is the one way to design your WordPress from scratch by slowly step by step this is a time-consuming process I personally don't really like it so now let me show you the best and easiest way to design or customize WordPress website let's go to the appearance and click on themes so guys you can see we have this Astra theme installed this is a necessary because we are going to install a free theme because we don't want to spend money at all if you are a beginner in WordPress then I recommend you to go with a free theme if you know a little bit about WordPress then I highly recommend you to buy a premium quality themes that allow you to add extra functionality on your WordPress website. Basically, it's all up to you. If you like to build a website professionally, then definitely buy a premium quality theme. Otherwise, you can 
go with the free theme. Free themes are good though, but don't expect enough feature with the free stuff. Now let's head over to the plugins and click on add new. So you wondering what is plugin? Plugins allow you to add the extra functionality to your WordPress website. I'm inside the plugin section. Now come over to the search box and type Astra. So I'm going to install this Astra starter sites. Click on install now and then click on activate. So once you activate this plugin, now hover your mouse over appearance and you can see Astra sites. Click on that. So now you can see we have two tabs here, Elementor and Beaver Builder. These two are the page builders. Select your favorite page builder. I like Elementor. I'm going to click on Elementor and now you can see the Elementor based theme. There is a lot of themes. Most of them are paid and uh, most of them are free. I'm going to click on free one in this free button that will show me all the free themes available. So right now I think there is a no blogger theme I guess. Okay let's go with this one. Click on that. Now you can see if we install this theme your website look exactly the same as you can see right here. Yeah, this is a, not a blog theme. Anyways, if you found any uh, blog theme in here, then go ahead and install it. So in order to install this theme, I'm going to click on this install plugin. It will install contact form 7 plus Elementor plugin. Okay, so plugin is installed and activated. Now it's time to click on import this site. Then click on OK. Now with this process we are importing pages, posts and media from this WordPress theme. So with that you don't need to create a pages manually or you don't need to worry about the designing your WordPress website. Later on we can customize this website according to our demand. So guys you can see importing data has been done. Now click on done view site. There you go guys. Now you can see your beautiful designed WordPress website. You have everything set up already with one single click. Now it's time to customize your WordPress website. In order to customize your WordPress website, simply click on customize button right here or you can go to the dashboard. Let me close this. You can go to the dashboard, go to the appearance and click on customize. It will take you to this page. Like I'm going to click on customization. In order to change every single element in this website, you can see these pencils right here. If you click any of these pencils, click to edit this element. You can see it will take you to this page right here. You can see primary header. This is a primary header. This is a not a menu. You can change anything you like or you can go to this far by manually. Let's go back by clicking this button. You can go to the layout, sidebar, anywhere you like. But the easiest way to go to anywhere, you just have to click on any of these pencil and you can change anything you like. So. Now you can see we are inside the menu, click on edit menu. So here you can take your about or you can drag and drop wherever you like or even you can add any item that you like. And of course you can change your logo if you have prepared already. I don't have any kind of logo yet. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back. Now scroll down. We have one pencil right here. You can click there and you can change anything you like. You can give your website name which is already uh, written right here or you can change this title powered by site title which is already done or you can type your name. Anyways, once you're happy, simply click on publish. Now let's close this. Let's go back to dashboard. So guys, when we install this theme, we also imported a demo data. If you don't like to show these kind of post in your website, then simply go to the post, click on all post. So there is a no post available right here. Let's go to the pages, click on all pages. So guys here, if you don't like to show the credit page, then simply click on trash button it will delete that page from your website. And of course, you can see the Elementor tag alongside this credit page, which means this page made with Elementor plugin. If you like to delete this sample page, simply click on trash. So our home page 
in this website our home page is added with elementor so in order to change every single element from home page you can click on the edit with elementor button right here so guys as you can see we inside the elementor page builder so in order to change anything inside the elementor page builder you just have to simply click on the element that you like to change and you can see in the left side editor you can type anything you like delicious food for for me yeah or you can change this text as well you can change this button as well you can type anything you like you can change uh, something like book now or book later anything you can type or any section you can change here so this is a not a detail uh, video tutorial on elementor if you want the full video tutorial on elementor please let me know in the comment section below and i'll definitely make a video tutorial on that however you can play around with elementor this is a easy to understand by spending five to ten minutes you may be uh, understand how to edit every single element on your website so guys once you're happy with your changes simply click on updates and there you go so I'm going to exit to the dashboard so now it's time to visit our website hover your mouse over here and click on visit site and there you go alright guys that's the end of this video guys I hope you enjoy this video if you did enjoy this or if you learn something from this video please hit the like button and your one like would be appreciated so if you have any question regarding this video you can ask me in the comment section below plus if I miss any of the steps in this video to show you guys you can tell me in the comment section below that as well I will make another video for you guys so if you are new here consider subscribing because I drop a new video every single week in this channel. So for more WordPress tutorial you can obviously check the description box below. So that being said goodbye and uh, I'll catch you next time.